All right, I hereby call this Dragon Hog meeting to order. First order of business, I would like to say the Dragon Hog team is finally complete. All eight of us are here. There's me, Ice Pick, Spark, Rocky, Aqua, Twist, Ivy, and our newest addition, the Lava Dragon Hog, Ruby. Go, everybody, say hello to Ruby. It's finally nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Ice Pick, the Ice Dragon Hog. Spark, the Lightning Dragon Hog. Rocky, the Earth Dragon Hog. Aqua, the Water Dragon Hog. Twist, the Air Dragon Hog. And of course, you know me, Ivy, the Nature Dragon Hog. Yes, it's really nice to meet all of you. Yes, she came to me on Angel Island. She overheard me when I was talking to Knuckles. And, by the way, guys, speaking of which, uh, thank you guys so much for your support from, uh, you know, when I was laid up in the hospital. <laughs> oh, it was my pleasure for taking over, Flame. I can always count on you, Ice Pick. Whenever I'm down, I'm always going to be putting you in second in command. Because, hey, out of all of us, we already know that Ice Pick is the best leader out of all of us. That seems fair. Yes, I do agree. Okay, well, anyway, second order of business. Guys, we have a major crisis coming. We have a major crisis coming. And, believe it or not, it's somebody that we know. It's somebody that we know. Well, who is it, Flynn? It's him. Um, I don't know who that is. Yeah, me either. Who is that? Well, perhaps maybe if I showed you the picture of him died down. Wait, that's... that's Wisp, your father! Yes, good to du yes, good deduction, Ivy. Yes, guys, we... guys, I'm gonna be facing off against my father. Flame, are you sure you want to do this? I mean, you already you already ended up in the hospital because of him. Are you really trying to go back? Ah, that's where that's where um uh things are gonna get complicated, Spark. You see, when you see the first time I faced off against him, it didn't work out so well because believe it or not, I faced off against him in a blind point of rage. Cause you see. Every time when I always look at him, I just think, oh my gosh, he just made me so angry. I just want to uh, punch him right in the face with one of my mace hands. And trust me, I actually did. I actually tried to. And that's when I lost my arm. All because of this stupid form that he achieved. And Ruby knows what that form is. Ruby, tell him what it is. That form that he used against Flame, it's called the Super Hyper Form. The super hyper form? I have never heard of that form. That's basically, it's a super evolved, that's because it's an evolved version of the hyper form. <sighs> One level I cannot achieve. And I already achieved them all. Kind of. Ugh. But anyway, guys, listen. With Ruby here, I now, I now have a, I now, we now have a chance to face off against him because believe it or not she actually has the power to boost us we can boost she can boost our powers yes and it's a good thing i did regain that power too it's been a long while since i had a good fight well <laughs> with you on our side well with you on our side ruby everything's going to be just fine and uh spark how's the activity of silver holding up Things are stable. My brother, he still hasn't, you know, submerged yet. And something tells me he's really, really pissed off at you. Well, let him be pissed off. He made the mistake on putting his hands on Blaze. Nobody should put their hands on their wife. Not unless they're hugging, touching, kissing, or, you know, doing the nasty. But anyway, nobody should be doing that to their wife. Therefore... Therefore, me and Sarah, we actually talk things over. Matter of fact, here's matter of fact, there's my third order of business. Third order of business, guys, is believe it or not, Sarah and I, we had a discussion. You guys know my harem, right? 
Well, yeah, we know of it. Almost half the girls in Mobius are in it. Yeah, kinda. And some of them from other dimensions. But anyway, um, here's, anyway, here's the thing. Because you see, last time, because you see, when I made, because when I uh, faced off against my dad, I um, sort of kind of placed a little bet on him. And the bet was, if he won, I had to make my harem into a marriage harem. And that really, really uh, upset my wife after when I told her. She got upset, but don't worry, everything's okay now. Also, one other thing, um, she, actually, she and I, we actually had a talk. And she said, since a deal is a deal, and I do love you a whole lot, we talked things over, and we came up with a conclusion. Well, solution and conclusion. Well, the solution was this. If I am, if I am man, if I do manage to beat my dad, then, then it's up to her to decide whether or not it should be a marriage harem or not. Well, that seems fair. Yeah, it, yeah, it is pretty fair. But anyway, guys, we're definitely going to have to go to the next level. So, guys, we better be prepared for the final battle against my dad. And in case we need extra help, I'm recruiting my brother Sonic, my girlfriend Blaze, and, of course, Knuckles the Echidna. I'm recruiting them just in case we need some extra help. Listen, guys, to tell you the truth, I was a little bit upset. Yeah, I would be too if I was laid up in the hospital with no arm. Yeah, believe it or not, I almost didn't want to fight anymore. Wait, what? Yeah, I almost didn't want to fight anymore. I was so upset and depressed. But luckily, one friend of mine came to the hospital who actually had the same exact problem that I have. Her name was Yang. Her name is Yang Zhao Long. You guys remember her from the Ruby Universe? Yeah. Well, believe it or not, she actually had her arm cut off too. She was so upset and depressed. Reason why was because punching and fighting, that was almost her life right there. Because without it, because without the punching and the fighting that she knows how to do, she won't be able to protect the ones that she loved. She pretty much felt useless. So then she fell into a really, really deep depression. She really didn't want to fight. But then she really, really needed to protect her. She really needed to protect her friends and family. I mean, how often is it that, you know, you're going to be fighting somebody that has a nub? But anyway, she and I, we actually talked things over and we actually came to the agreement that we can't let these robotic appendages of ours be our weakness, but let it be our strength. Because we may not be getting our old limbs back, but we can make do with these ones. And trust me, I have made do with these, with this new arm. I really have made do with this new arm. My, my friends, my family, and everybody, they're all helping me with this um, arm. They're all helping me with this arm, and including my wife, Sarah, because she's the one who knows a lot about robotic arms. So, I really am thankful that I have her in my life that can help me with this. Same thing with Yang. They pretty much know what it's like to lose an arm because everybody knows that my wife, Bunny, and Yang, they all lost their arms. Well, my wife hasn't. She was born with a robotic arm. But anyway, the point is I can't let the loss of my old arm be my downfall. But let it be my uprising. I can't hold back anymore, guys. It's time for me to put my dad in the ground where he belongs. With all the other, with all the other people who cause so much pain and suffering. And above all that, guys, I end off this dragon meeting saying we need intense training. So, guys, 
when it comes to this training, I'm going to be, we're going to be separated. We're going to be going to each, we're going to different places in Mobius. So that way we can train. It's basically where our elements are. For me and, for me and Ruby, we're going to the same place. Me and Ruby are going to the same place because practically our powers are sort of the same. Lava and fire. Ice pick, you're going to ice cap zone. So that way you can practice with the ice surrounding you. Spark, you are going to chemical plant because I'm pretty sure there's plenty of electrical stuff there. This is definitely going to be hard for me, guys. But anyway, Rocky... You are going, you are going to the rock quarry. You're going to the rock quarry where you used to work at. Aqua, I'm sending you to Seaside Hill. Twist, I'm sending you to the Sky Sanctuary. Ivy, you're going to Green Hill Zone. So, everybody, we all need, so guys, we all know your assignments. We need to split up. We need to split up and be back in here, be back here in time to start training. All right? Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Good. Now, guys, there's one more thing I got to say before we before we um go into this fight. Look, if I don't make it, if I don't make it, guys, do me a favor. Take good care of my family and friends. All right? If I don't make it out, take good care of my family and friends. They mean a lot to me. And most importantly, look after my daughter. Because Amber, she's really going to be taking over after I'm gone. She's going to be taking over as leader of the Dragon Hogs. So, guys, if I don't make it, tell Sarah that I love her so much. Flame, don't talk like that. Huh? I'm telling you, don't talk like that, okay? Listen, you're going to make it out of this. You're going to have all of us, Sonic, Blaze, and Knuckles on your back. You're going to be just fine. I promise. You're going to be fine. <sighs> Thanks a whole lot. Anyway. And? I don't know if... I don't know if Ruby already told you this, guys, but... I already know what I'm going to do to deliver the final blow when it comes to my dad. I already know the final blow to what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the penance stare. The penance stare? Isn't the penance stare really dangerous? Yeah, Rocky, it is dangerous. The penance stare is the most dangerous weapon of a ghost rider. But, not to worry, I have managed to control my ghost rider form. I managed to control it. But, here's the thing. It's gonna be really, and I repeat, really hard. For me to control it. I have to keep I have to keep my distance away from my friends. Because believe it or not, I might end up using the penance stare on innocent people. And I don't want that. I might end up hurting you. So guys, when the time comes, I want you guys to head back home. Because I'm going to because when the time is right, I'm going to finish it myself. And my dad is going to pay for what he did to me, my mom, my sister, and everybody else. And of course, I got the feeling he's not going to have... And also, I have a feeling he's also going to have backup too. Because he's been in cahoots with the Joker and pretty much all the other DC villains. Well, mainly the Batman villains. Because why else do you think he injected me with Joker venom? So, guys... Just keep alert in case if people like Bane or Joker or the Penguin or Dr. Freeze or Mr. Freeze or whatever comes by. 
So be on your guard, okay? No problem. Good. And I guess this concludes our meeting. And good luck on your training, guys. We'll meet back here when the time is right.